Hello and welcome to the videos on securitytube.net. This video is on crypto analysis or attacks on cryptography. In this video we will be concentrating on different possible attacks on cryptography like known plain text attack or known cipher text attack etc. Crypto analysis is science of recovering the plain text of the message without having access to the key. So the key will be shared between sender and receiver and crypto analyst has to break the cipher text to get the plain text. The assumption behind this statement is crypto analysts has complete knowledge of the algorithm and its implementation and whole security should reside in key itself and the algorithm should be open or algorithm should not be secured. So security is in key and security is not by obscuring the algorithm. These are the possible attacks on cryptography. Let's list all the attacks one by one and then I will try to explain every attack in detail in next slides. So these attacks can be cipher text only attack, known plain text attack, chosen plain text attack. The meaning of all this attack is very much intuitive with the name itself. Next can be adaptive chosen plain text attack, then chosen cipher text attack, chosen key attack and last can be rubber hose or crypto analysis or bribery etc. Very important attack is cipher text only attack. In this attack cryptographer has a knowledge of n number of cipher text packets only and he has to find out either the plain text of those cipher text packets or even better the key itself. So given is cipher text of the mini messages encrypted with the same key. So he knows C1, C2, CI. So actually C1 is E K of P1, E K of P2, E K of P I, etc. So his task is to find the plain text of these messages. Means he has to find out P1, P2, P I, or even better a key itself. So the key E K, the key with which the encryption is done, he, he can find out a key, or even the next plain text is also okay. Next attack is known plain text attack. So along with the cipher text, he's, he knows corresponding plain text message as well. So he knows P1, C1, P2, C2 and so on up to PI, CI. Now C1 is actually a function of EK, P1. So he knows C1 as well as P1. So his task is to find out this K. So the task is to find K or algorithm to find out PI plus 1 from CI plus 1. So given cipher text, he should be able to find out plain text for next messages. This is the next version of the last attack that is known plain text attack. This is chosen plain text attack. So he has a control on plain text. So along with knowing plain text and cipher text, he can choose the plain text that gets encrypted. So he knows P1, C1, P2, C2, PI, CI where P1, P2, PI can be chosen by the attacker and this chosen plain text gives more control to attacker. Again the task will be again to find out the K key or the algorithm to infer PI plus 1 from CI plus 1. This is slight improvisation of the last attack that is chosen plain text attack. It is adoptive chosen plain text attack. So along with plain text cipher text pairs choosing of plain text option, he can modify the plain text choice depending upon the result of pre previous encryption. So in this attack the attacker is given all freedom. He can play with the encryption algorithm so that he can modify the plain text according to the last results of the encryption decryption thing. So he knows P1, C1, P2, C2 up to PI, CI where P1, P2, P, PI can be chosen and at his will he can change the plain text as well. Again the final task is to find out key or to infer PI plus 1 given CI plus 1 chosen cipher text attack upon all these attacks it is very interesting attack because in this attack the attacker can choose the cipher text in all previous attacks we used to change the plain text or we had some control we can modify the plain text in this attack attacker can choose the cipher text of course attacker has access to decrypted plain text as well so attacker knows c1 p1 c2 p2 up to ci pi and he can choose ci's to get decrypted pi's Again the task, final task is to find out the key. The typical application can be in public key cryptography. See, uh, say I am accessing some banking site. So I can give different encrypt, encrypted pages to my browser and my browser will decrypt all those pages. So I know or I have access to encrypted pages as well and decrypted pages as well. So with this knowledge can I decrypt the key or can I find out the key is the challenge in this chosen cipher text attacks. 
and my favorite thought those who claim to have an unbreakable cipher simply because they themselves cannot break it are either genius or fools and unfortunately there are more of the latter in this world thank you for now i will be creating more videos on public key cryptography and symmetric key cryptography and i will uploading them to securitytube.net keep tuned to more videos on securitytube.net thank you